is up you guys welcome back to my channel we just filled up the tanks and heading over to Faro East Harley Davidson to go on the second summer group ride it is Saturday November 7th and it's gonna be 75 degrees today so we're trying to get as many bikers together as possible, meet up at the dealership this morning, and then head down to Hocking Hills, Ohio, grab some lunch and just hit some nice curvy roads before winter finally sets in. We've had some snow, we've had some cold days, but this is our second summer. So we're meeting at the dealership right now, gonna say hi, rip off all these layers because it's already warming up, and hit the road. Bikes are rolling in. We're about to do kickstands up in I think well, maybe 20 minutes. Already met a few subscribers, handed out some stickers, so it's gonna be a good day. Obey all laws, including speed limits, stop signs, traffic lights. Uh, on the road, stagger. Stagger your ride. If you're comfortable with the person you're riding with, it's legal to ride side by side, but let's stagger a couple bike lengths. When we get on the twisty turnies, go single file and give yourself two to three bike lengths. All right, getting staged up. Goodness gracious, I love this sound. a good old group ride and get your heart racing <laughs> it sucks I hate riding in groups but I love being social and seeing people this was such a good turnout today I met a few of you subscribers oh my gosh you guys rode from West Virginia from Pennsylvania I already gave out most of my stickers this is rad you guys rock seriously Every time I post online about we're getting together, we're meeting up, we're riding, you guys show up. I love it. Thank you. It feels exceptionally windy in my helmet. Why? Oh, well, probably because it came unpopped again. Damn it. I don't know if you can see my helmet came unlatched. Son of a bitch. I don't know why it does that. some gas now I need to fix my helmet yo that is badass he's got his wheelchair on it that's so cool just finished the gas stop I didn't gas up it says we have about 30 miles until our lunch place so dude that was nice I think that tow truck literally just pulled over so that we can pass people are not usually that nice in Ohio pretty happy I think I ended up getting towards like three quarters of the way back towards the back I wanted to get some people in my shot I saw 
saw a couple female riders in the group. That is badass. Poor construction workers. I know what they're thinking. I would so much rather be out riding a motorcycle. I just assume that's what everyone thinks. Glad I put my sunglasses on today. There is not a cloud in the sky. Like I said, this is Saturday, November 7th. I know a lot of you guys are out doing poker runs and toy drives and just all kinds of like fun riding events. So if you're watching this video, what did you do on Saturday, November 7th, riding-wise? Because it, it's everywhere. Gotta love a group that can use hand signals. I'm actually very, very pleasantly surprised at the amount of people wearing helmets on this ride. I cannot get over how beautiful this road is. It's nice when you're in big group rides like this because then you keep coming up on small towns and the speed limit drops to 25 miles an hour so everyone gets to catch up. As always, huge shout out to Pharaoh Harley Davidson and thank you, Jim, for putting this ride together and taking care of everybody. So far, I've, I've been having an amazing time and I hate group rides. What, this is a toy corner? Toy like a toyga. Thank God it's 25. I saw a shadow and I thought I just ran over a squirrel. <laughs> I've only had my bike back from the shop for a couple weeks now. It's been pretty cold, pretty rainy. This is like, like I said, the second summer basically. The, it, the weather's been beautiful for days now. I just feel so happy. I feel like I'm giving her like her justice. Like I know you were in the hospital, baby. Let's go ride to a couple hundred miles, probably just today. Yeah, I've already done 120 miles just today. <laughs> we haven't even made it to lunch yet. Yeah, man! Woohoo! They're having fun. That is one thing I have never done. I have never been on a dirt bike. I'd probably kill myself. We just made it to our lunch spot, uh, Jimbo's, what's it called? Burgers and beer. Dude, my favorite things. A lot of people just split, a lot of people go into a couple different spots, but these are the bikes. <laughs> Let's go eat. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna put my sticker on the door. Oh, there you go. Right there. Not a bubble in sight. Oh! <laughs> well, we just left lunch at Jimbo's, split off from the group, trying to hightail it back to town, and met some really nice bikers that weren't even on the ride with us. So we're gonna follow them back to the highway and just call it a day it's only it's like 2 30 in the afternoon and the sun is already getting so low on the horizon and it's crazy here soon it'll be the winter solstice and then the days will slowly start getting longer again can't wait but this was an awesome ride dude pharaoh harley davidson once again killing it they put this ride together in like five days jim you did an amazing job this was a rad group like I said, I had some subscribers come out, show up from like crazy far distances. You guys are hardcore. Thank you. This was awesome. And now before we go home, we are riding through legitimately some of the most beautiful roads I've been on. And I just, I'm loving every minute of this. It's days like these that make me so thankful that I don't put my bike away for the winter. And signs like that that make me happy I'm a motorcyclist. As always, thank you guys for clicking on this video and help making this channel what it is. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get to get out and ride on the random, beautiful, warm, sunny days that this winter is gonna have to offer. And as always, you be good and I will see you later.